to my channel i hope you're all okay today i have a makeup look on this look here using the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette i use this palette to create this look it's just like an orange red smoky eye i thought i'd keep it quite basic and quite neutral because a lot of the shades in here are quite warm toned like some of the colors in here i wouldn't necessarily go for daily i will say that the colors do look a lot darker once you put them on the eye um rather than like what they look like in the pan if you guys are interested in how to get this look then please keep watching to prime my face, I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Cream and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and I'll be applying this with a small dual fibre brush. This is a blast from the past for my OG subscribers. I'm going to go in and fill out my pores and fine lines using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and I'm just going to be popping this in my usual places plus on top of my breakouts. I'm going to go in and do my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brow. My tutorial will be linked down below if you want a more in-depth video on it. I'm going to go in and do my eyes and I will be priming them using the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre and the Sigma 3D HD Eye Brush and just popping that all over my eyelids and up to my brow bone and then just getting my loose powder and setting it in place as well. So I'm taking the Modern Renaissance palette as you can see and I'm really really excited. <laughs> the first shade that I'm going to go in with is really Real good? Real good? I don't know. Um, as you can see my face here, I'm a bit unimpressed about the palette. Um, yeah, don't really think it's my favourite palette I own. Um, but I'm going to be blending this in the crease using the Zoeva 221 Look Soft Crease Brush. Then I'm going to go in and build this up using the shade Burnt Orange. I feel like this Burnt Orange is very different to the single pan as well. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Red Ochre with the same Zoeva 221 Look Soft Crease Brush and then build this in and put this on the lid as well, just not take it as high. I'm going to go in with the dark brown from the palette, this is in Cypress Umber, um, with a MAC 242 brush and just pat this at the bottom of the lid and then use the Zoeva 221 Look Soft Crease brush just to blend this out. Then I'm going to go in and tidy up and wipe all away all my fallout and then I should be left with a nice crisp line. I'm going to go in and tight line and align my eyes using a black eyeliner, this one is just from Marc Jacobs, you can use any one you fancy. Then I'm going to go in and put liquid liner on and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I'm then going to go in and add mascara using the Benefit Royal Lash Mascara and the lashes I'm using today are Lily Lashes in the style of Sydney. I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Honey and just correct my under eyes and brighten them up. For foundation I'm going to go in with the NARS All Day Luminous and a bit of the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow Drops and just buff this out with a damp beauty blender. Take the sleek dark contour kit and just take those two shades there and with a large dual fiber brush and just buff this around the face in the contouring areas. To highlight my face I'm going to go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral and just pop this on the high points of my face and again using a damp beauty blender just to blend this out. If I sound ill or like I've got a cold it is because I have a fever. Setting my highlighted places using the MAC Loose Foundation in Extra Light, of course. And then I'm going to set my face using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact Powder thing. I'm going to go in and set my brows using the Sleek Brow Set in the shade Clear. And then I'm going to go back in and work on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in and take the palette again and take the shade Burnt Orange just on a more precise shader brush and brush this across my lower lash line and then I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber just for the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in and add Bottom Lash Mascara using the Max Extended Play Lash Mascara. To bronze my face, I'm going to go in with the NYX Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. I'm actually going to contour kind of as well with this because I forgot my contour. Whoops. <laughs> And then the brush I'm using today is Max Stubborn, which is the darker one, and Makeup Geeks Spellbound. And then the highlight I'm using today is the NARS um, Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Jubilation, and just popping out all of my high points. I just want to say I'm absolutely obsessed now with that darker blush from MAC. It's beautiful. I'm also using this to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Set my face with Urban's K Chill Makeup Setting Spray and then I'm going to be using the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Exposed. So I'll be lightening my lips with the liner and then using the liquid lip to obviously fill it in. And then you will be done my loves. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you guys next time. So that is it guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did then please give it a thumbs up. 
If there are any other palettes that you want me to do looks on, then please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.